Aiden is a former junior Springbok who now plays for the Cheetahs in the Pro 14. Sune is an actuarial science graduate. Both are in their mid-twenties and head over heels in love. Aiden and Sune, it's an absolute pleasure to meet the two of you. How did the two of you meet? Well, we actually met 2014 yeah. in Pretoria through a mutual friend. At that stage, I was still playing for the Sun Kings and she was studying. So after a game in Johannesburg, one of my friends picked me up and <laughs> we went out. That's, how, that's where it started, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it love at first sight? Yes, uh, don't let him tell you anything <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I met her and I liked her, but then always the distance was a problem for me because I was in P and she was in Poch. But then she came and visited me and yeah, I fell in love. How did Aiden propose to you? Uzi and I, Uzi is our little overweight Yorkshire Terrier. He's the cutest little boy ever. So we landed in France on the Monday and the Tuesday he said he's gonna take us for a little picnic and we went for the picnic. He set up the picnic area, he set up the GoPro and he said he just has a little gift for me so I need to stand and close my eyes. And when I opened my eyes, <laughs> he was down on his one knee and then he asked me. I would love to see the ring. Yeah. Oh, that is stunning. What is it that you love most about each other? His integrity. He's honestly one of those guys who always do the right thing. He's always on time. He's really hard working. He just goes that extra mile with everything that he does. I think that was one of the main things that attracted me to him. I think from her is her positivity and definitely she's Always seeing the best in people, that's two of the things that got me. Aiden and Sunay, you guys make a wonderful couple and I wish you all the best for your big day. Thank you. Thank you so much. The couple chose this Somerset West estate for its modern simplicity, a quality which allowed it to take on the character of the bride and groom, as interpreted by wedding planner Chelsea Warren Stone. Sine and Aiden themselves are quite unique as people. Um, they're quite open, friendly, so that's what I hope to achieve from the wedding. In terms of the live entertainment during pre-drinks, it's quite a relaxed atmosphere. In terms of the long tables, the feast dining also creates quite a relaxed vibe for everyone to dine together. So warm, friendly, relaxed atmosphere is what I hope to achieve. We were given a brief that we have to work with white, green, gold and black. And because the couple is so open to trying out new ideas, we felt like we can work with two different looks for the tables. So we decided to do a few table sets decorated with fresh greenery runners. And you also get the feel like it's a garden in front of you. And then the other tables are decorated with white and green floral arrangements. Flowers in season, roses, cymbidium orchids, hydrangeas. And then to incorporate the black and the gold, we use black and gold candle holders and candles. And ending off the table with beautiful gold drum underplates, black side plates and cutlery. The wedding cake is stunning. It's a three-tiered wedding cake with red velvet filling, chocolate filling and carrot. And we just put a beautiful Philanopsis orchids to decorate the cake. Simple, beautiful, but represents the couple's personality. Aiden would be flanked by two fellow rugby professionals, his best friend and MC, Shane Gates, alongside his brother and best man, Dalton Davis. When we grew up, he was actually he was always the guy, everything must be perfect, his room is perfect, clean, and everywhere we go, we must we must sit like that, we must go like that. And, and it's an example today, like everything is so perfectly planned, and that's how we're so chill. So that shows you the type of guy Aiden is. I remember the first time he came back uh, because Sunay was studying in Potterstrom at the time and they were doing uh, long distance and he, he came back down and I could, just, I could just sense a different demeanor about him and the way that he spoke to me about this girl sort of took me back to high school days when you're, when you're talking about that girl that you like around the corner and, and you know she's this and she's that and I don't know I just I sensed that you know something about this girl was different and uh, yeah I mean you can see it today and I'm just so glad that they've come such a long way. There for the bride were her two sisters, Vivian Senegal and maid of honor, Arlene Fouri. I'm eight years older than Tsunaki, so 
for me it was like having a, my own built-in doll <laughs> i love her she's such a kind-hearted soft person i think aiden ground her she's a very free-spirited person and a dreamer so aiden brings the realistic part into her life and she brings the dreamer into his so they complement each other very well Sine's designer, Anel Borda, is someone she's known since primary school. She created her matric dance dress and her sister's wedding gown. The first dress is very modern. We wanted some heavy embellishment on it, just something that people won't expect. And then the little party frock has a little bit of ostrich feathers on it, keeping it proudly South African. And we sort of tried to simulate the neckline of the wedding gown. I honestly think the dress that Anel Boerta created was everything that I imagined and more. I didn't want your average traditional wedding dress that everyone always does. From the start I told Anel, I wanted a bit of an art creation, something different. The dress needs to speak for itself and I'll just wear it. And that's exactly what she created. The bridesmaids gowns, however, I didn't make them. They are sleek, they are modern. They are sparkly as the wedding gown and the party gown is and they really complement the bride's gown. The couple have been dating for over four years and though rugby life doesn't allow them to make hard and fast plans, the one certainty is how they feel about each other. Happily, Sune works for a research organisation with offices across Europe and the UK. This means she can continue in the profession she loves while supporting Aiden in chasing his dreams. To her mother, Olga Senegal, she's just grown up so fast. It's very emotional for me to see her walking down the aisle because that's my baby. <laughs> and that's the last one. I know she's got a excellent husband and I love him to bits. So I know they're going to be super happy, super happy. In full agreement is Springbok 8th man, Dwayne Thor from Mullen. I've met them in Toulon, in France. I played for Toulon and then they signed a young number eight for the club and uh, then Aiden appears. And yeah, then Sune came over a few months later. So yeah, I got to meet them in France, or all the places. Just when she arrived, you can see, listen, this guy is head over heels for it. The extras he does is actually amazing for a young couple and to see that is uh, pretty special. Sir Gail Peterson agrees. When I saw them today, I could just see that these two are really happy and really meant for each other. As they were doing their vows, there were two butterflies flying around. To me, that's a good sign of a nice future for, for the two of them. Aiden and Sine are perfect for each other because the first thing, they are best friends. And they laugh and they play and they joke around the whole time. So it makes their relationship so special. Such a beautiful day. I always feel like a wedding is such a, a blessing to have and to see how beautiful this you know, wedding turned out. And because we, we all have been planning this, so if you see that someone's special day, you're like, oh my word, it's exactly the same as that person. And you can see, oh, but this is tonight. And you can see, you know, so it was so beautiful. For this Saturday, there was no coaching or game plan. All you had to follow was the free spirit of the bride and groom. It was honestly everything and more that we hoped for. For me, it was honestly a fairy tale. <laughs> Definitely for myself as well, and seeing her in this dress just made it worth it. <laughs> Everyone embraced the request to contribute to charity instead of buying gifts, and it confirmed why this couple are so loved.